How's the sound going to be? It's kind of echoey. It might be echoey, but uh, this is Steve Levine, our uh, juror for uh, the spring uh, floral art exhibition. Well, and go ahead. All right, I'm walking through the exhibition. I'm doing the final judging. And uh, it was interesting. I did, of course, the, pre the preview for the show online. And um, now when I come in to do the final judging, it's, it's completely different seeing the paintings in person. First of all, it's a really, really strong show. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful thing, especially in a time, unusual times like we're having these days, uh, to be able to look at beautiful art and uh, hopefully people can come and you know, see the work, not in large groups, but at their leisure, kind of sneak in and take a look when you can because it's really worthwhile. So we've got uh, seven awards to hand out. We've got four honorable mentions and then first, second, and third place. So uh, I'm gonna start with the honorable mentions. Uh, oh, the first one's right here. Uh, Mary Bacon studying rose colors. Uh, this one, well, first of all, I have, I have five basic categories that, uh, to judge a work. It's uh, concept, design, color, drawing, and emotion. And I kind of have a rating scale, and I look at all the paintings. I, I did this online. Um, kind of get a rough idea for everything. And then when I see everything in person, it, like I said, it sort of changes things because it's a completely different experience. Um, but this one, I'm not going to go through all the different points for each painting, but just basically, this one is, is, first of all, I love the wonderfully graphic approach to it. And it's with this division of the flowers, it creates this, it's a unique way of creating kind of the, the chaos that you get with nature, especially when you have a whole garden of flowers and there's this riot of color and form everywhere. And when you look at it, you've got sort of three different groups of flowers. I think it's a really ingenious way of doing it. So honorable mention goes to her. Um, and then the next honorable mention goes to Lisa Fertig, um, Prairie Flowers. So this one, this is one of those works. It's not Lisa Fertig. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's quite all right. This is, uh, this is what you get this with live Laura, camera. This is Laura T. <laughs> Tidy, uh, TD. 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 Yeah, so there I you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Laura Tiny. Titi. Titi. That's good. It's an award. She'll love it. She'll love it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is one of those works that sort of draws you in slowly. I've, across the room, you know, there's no color, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have the same impact. But then as you get up slowly, it sort of commands your attention more and more. Plus, it's a really unusual subject for a floral show. Um, it's a lot of these sort of dried and spent uh, prairie flowers, which don't offer much, but what they do offer is this interesting form. It's really meticulous. And so this is the kind of work that you have to get right up close to, to appreciate. So uh, honorable mention there. Now we'll go to Lisa Furt. <laughs> <laughs> That's this one, right? It's a tulips. This one, am I heading in the right direction? Which one are you yeah. Yeah. Spring tulips. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one again kind of scores high on the emotional uh, factor just because it's such an unusual way of doing it. You've got I'm picturing them as red tools, but red tools, but all the color is sort of exploded out of them, uh, almost as if the artist thought, well, there's no way I'm going to catch it, so let's just splash the color all over the place. But then the forms are here as if they're sort of burnt out by, by, the, by the electricity of the light. I don't know, again, it's just a, uh, an interesting way of doing it where I never would have thought of it, so it caught me. Uh, the last one is Marianne Cleary, Iris. Um, this one is just a sweet little drawing. I kept coming back to it over and over again. And it's, uh, it captures that idea of the sunlight coming through the flowers and uh, I thought it was really going to add a poetry to it. So, honorable mention there. Um, now we'll go to third place. Right? Okay. Third place is uh, Susan Stetchin-Cook. The rule according to 
Halsey. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got this beautiful contrast between the child's drawing and the forms of the flowers. And the real payoff won't show up here, so you have to come in in person to see it. It's how meticulously modeled the orchid is here. So it heightens that contrast between this flower and the child's drawing. And then the last thing is this unusual sort of line, bright line green for the background, again, conveying uh, sort of the world of the child. Uh, really odd color to put in, but a great contrast with this pink of the orchid. Uh, second place goes to Rick Kachanash for Pian Poetry. Um, this one is done in the wonderful muted grays, which again doesn't show here, but these white peonies aren't really brilliant light, so you've got this real subtle poetry going on, mostly a harmony in pinks and grays with that deep red accent there. And then uh, he's got the palette knife action here building up the texture to suggest the, the thick forms of those peonies, so really nicely done. And first place goes to Stephanie Deschpen. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Deschpen. Deschpen. Mm -hmm. Uh, Autumn Roses. Uh, this one has this beautiful lost forms all around the center of interest and then the forms are tightened as you get closer into the subject. And wonderful brushwork here uh, showing the, the forms of the roses and how they're so wrapped tightly as they're bundled into this vase. It's got a very nice, lively uh, Lively feel to it, and the color is beautifully done as well. So, first place, congratulations. Great, and uh, can you just uh, add some commentary just to the general overall uh, uh, look of the show? Uh, any? Oh, it's it's. I wish I had more honorable mentions to hand out. I've got this <laughs> list of things here, and I'm trying to decide. It's really quite difficult. I could easily hand out ten more. So, uh, do come in and see it. It's really a strong show. They got a nice variety of works. So I recommend it, glad to be a part of it. Well, thank you, Stephen Levine, a wonderful painter here in the Minnesota, nationally known, and uh, we welcome uh, all his commentary and uh, love the judging. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Steve Levine. Mm -hmm.